Expansion hype, boy! Added pre-built decks, they added better UI, and most importantly... 15 packs for the new expansion, but... It doesn't stop there. No, 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 I've been saving my gold. Not religiously or anything, it's just a meager amount, but still enough. Still enough to buy 10 more packs. 10 more packs? No! 25 more packs. This is a 50 pack opening. Let's do it. For the new expansion, Shadowverse Rise of Bahamut. I'm actually pretty excited. I've been pretty bored with the Haven meta. I want to see how things shake up. I really want to play Dragon. Let's get it started. Now, I didn't really look at any of the cards when I uh, during pre-release, so I have no idea what's going on. But I do know that these golden cards now have golden text. That's actually pretty nice. Nice. Looking for legendaries, obviously. I like that. I like the golden text. Um, it makes it a lot more, I guess, which is something that's always good. Come on. Getting some golds, lots of silvers too. I'm sure these are all gonna be very essential. Like, it's a new expansion, so I don't really mind if I don't get legendaries or anything. Like, these commons surely have to be quite good. A uh, gold, though, I'll take a look at this. And, Bell of Mysteria for Runecraft. Summon a Grey of the Dragonborn and evolve it. Whenever this follower attacks, you do one damage to all enemy followers. Okay, that's pretty interesting. It's eight mana, though, for a 3 3. Hmm, what's Grey of the Dragonborn? A 3 3. Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea how it's gonna shake out. I don't play RuneCraft, so... <laughs> Who knows? Oh, Monica! From Grand Blue. I used to play Grand Blue a little bit, so this is kind of surprising. But not altogether that much of a surprise, considering it's all side games, right? Oh, that's nice! Look at that animation! That's insane. Alright, what's this thing? Valkyrie's Spear. Whenever an ally neutral follower can play, give it plus one, plus zero. Eh, doesn't seem very good. A new Crystallia is out in this expansion too, apparently. Ooh! Another gold! What's this one all about? Valhalla in general. Give an allied follower plus three, plus three, and a rush. Ah! Like I said, I, I, it's kind of hard for me to call um, what sort of impacts these guys will make since, you know... First of all, I haven't played for a while. Second of all, a lot of these classes I don't really have that much experience in. Much to the end of the turn. Whenever an ally follower is destroyed, gain plus one, plus one. Huh. For two mana? That seems alright, actually. Maybe not a meta changer. Lots of golds in this one. Zombie Buccaneer! Oh god. Pirates. <laughs> it's triggering my PTSD from Hearthstone. <laughs> Let's get that out of the way. I, I don't want to see that anymore. What? This guy looks fabulous. Lucius Goblin Slayer! Oh my god! Rip and tear! Deal one damage to all other followers, deal two damage to one play point play point followers instead. Huh. That's that's Is that Sword Killer? This is Sword Killer. Goblin Slayer. Holy crap. I've been reading Goblin Slayer, so I'm very excited that this is card. <laughs> Goblin Slayer, if you don't know, is a it's a manga. That I've been reading. Anyway, let's buy some more packs with the gold that we saved up. Right. We still have tons of gold to use. Is it a 50 pack? How many packs am I buying right now? 25 packs plus a 15. It's a 40 pack opening. I just can't do math. My bad. Art of the ninja. Dude, that's sick. Look at that art. Deal 4 damage to an enemy follower. Enhance 8. Enhance, if you have enough play points, they're automatically spent to activate the enhance effects of a card. When you play the card from hand. Okay, that's pretty cool. Summon a ninja master. So does this mean I have to have 8 mana instead? Alright. Makes sense. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> what the fuck? That surprised me. Those are loud sound effects. Alpha Wolfman. Alright. Let's see. Imperial Dragoon. What? This guy looks sick! Are you, are you seeing this? I love it. Discard your hand and deal X damage to all enemies. X equals in amount of cards discarded. Oh, that, that seems really good for discard dragon. Or it seems like side games is at least pushing discard dragon, a new archetype for dragon that they've been trying to push for a while, but 
Sound. What the fuck is this duck? Huh. I like it. Blood hungry matriarch. Animated legendary for Bloodcraft. Deal two damage to all enemy followers. Whenever an enemy follower is destroyed, deal one damage to the enemy leader. Wow. That seems like I could make that work. Well, I'm gonna try it since since I have the card. But I don't know if I can actually make Bloodcraft work, who knows? Oh, Tribunal of Good and Evil. Another Havencraft Countdown Amulet, alright, hopefully it doesn't make it more cancer. Destroy a random enemy follower. Destroy a random enemy follower. Eh, seems a bit mediocre. Maybe I'm wrong though. I don't know if Havencraft is... I feel like they're really pushing the, the classes that weren't that good last expansion. And they're trying to make them all relatively equal. I don't know how successful it will be in that endeavor, but we can only hope. Ghost Hound Sexton. All their followers, all ally followers in play will be destroyed instead when being banished. Okay, it's counters banished cards. Wow, okay, that's interesting. So that was, that's just to ensure that you activate your last words, I guess. Hmm. Keep going on this one. Lots of silvers in this pack. And another animated lurching corpse can only attack the enemy leader and followers with ward. Eh? Astro's destroyer and enemy follower. Okay, this is interesting. Interesting Shadowcraft card. I don't know how played it'll be, but it seems like something that might be worth running for good removal. Owl Guardian. More owls. But this time the owl is a dragon? What? It just makes no sense. Why is the owl a dragon? Randomly this card on the lowest cards cost your hand deal five damage to an enemy follower. Whoa. Okay. That seems very good. Especially in they're really pushing this discard thing, huh? Right of exorcism. Destroy an enemy follower that costs three play points or less. Or amulet instead of it's enhanced five. But it's destroyed, it's not banished, so that's not gonna do any good against countdown stuff. Whoa! Another legendary, nice! And it's animated again! Neftis. Randomly put followers of different costs, excluding Neftis, from your deck into play until your area is full. Then destroy those followers? What? Followers of different costs from your deck into play until your area is full. Then destroy those followers. So this is a Shadowcraft card, so I assume it's for your last words. And just to mill out a bunch of stuff from your deck so that you can get your spells? I don't know. That seems interesting, though. That seems like it's a, it's a straight up an archetype definer. Also, this card is just insane. <laughs> this card is just nuts. Because you get that 13-13 for 8 mana. Damn. Warfiend. Draw. Wow. That's... Isn't that, like, really good? <laughs> that seems really good. Okay. Last pack of this... An another Blood Hungry Matriarch. Another animated Blood Hungry Matriarch. Alright, I'll know what direction the game's trying to push me in right now. <laughs> Play that deck. That's a lot of emblems I just got there. Oh, and I can still buy five more packs. Alright. So that's 25 packs bought with my gold. Plus the 15 that I'm gonna buy with the tickets. I am excited. I am very excited. More dragon stuff. Hey, it's Veit! Vania's big brother or something. Clash. That's a new one as well. Followers' clash abilities activate before damage is dealt whenever attacking or defending against an enemy follower. So it's when minions attack each other. That makes sense. Ancient Lion Spirit. Deal two damage to all enemy followers. Wow, that's a good card art. Man, the art in this game just can be really beautiful sometimes. And sometimes it's just terrible, but sometimes it's amazing. Alright. Ooh, a gold card. Sadistic Knight. Deal two damage to your leader, deal six damage to an enemy follower, then summon a Beast Dominator. They're really trying to make Beast Dominator good, aren't they? Anyway. Another Shadow Reaper. Alright, it's fine by me. 
Ooh, that's a lot of gold, including a second Goblin Slayer. I'm gonna make a meme deck out of this guy. Out of all the party members of Goblin Slayer. I don't know. This just seems like something that might be fun to do. Sadistic Knight again. Castle in the Sky. 15 for Swordcraft. Okay, this is new. Whenever an allied follower comes into play, subtract one from this countdown. Amulet's countdown. Last words. Give plus one plus one and storm to all allied swordcraft followers. So it has to be faction specific. This seems like it costs a lot for its effect. And swordcraft can often kill you before, you know, that many turns is even up. So I don't know how effective that one's going to be. But let's just keep going. We have 15 more packs after all. Man. Side Games really is generous with this one, huh? Well, it's because they make so much money with... <laughs> with uh, Bahamut and Granblue that they can afford to be generous with this one. <gasps> Albert. Levin Saber. Is this another Granblue character? I think it might be. I can't quite remember. Storm. Okay, so it's already good. Can't be damaged until the end of the turn. This card is played. Can attack twice per turn if you play it for 9. So it becomes like a 5 minus 6 damage. Or 9 minus 6 damage that can't be damaged. When you play it, so you can rush through taunts, I guess. Or wards. This seems like a pretty good card. It's like a, uh, Mirage for Swordcraft. I don't know. Seems pretty good. Nothing special in that one, I don't think. Ooh, another gold. Mastema. Can only attack the enemy leader and followers with ward. That's why it's overpriced, or overstated, I guess. And it has Bane, also. So it's a good ward killer. I wonder if they added any big wards in this expansion. Get that pirate out of my face. Don't want to see it. Pact with the Nether Guard? Nether God? Destroy an enemy follower with 4 defense or less. Enhance 7. Then summon a Pluto and give it plus X plus Y. Uh, so I just it summoned Pluto. That seems really good. That seems insane, actually. Uh, that seems like something I might want to run in any Shadowcraft decks moving forward. Unless they add anything OP in the next expansion after this one, obviously. That won't be for a while yet. Balor. I'm getting lots of Shadowcraft cards, it seems like. Deal 3 damage to all enemy followers. Another board clear. Really adding a lot of those, it seems like. Oh, finally, I've been getting Sector the entire game, and now I get, or this entire pack opening, now I get a Golden Sector. Perfect. Just what I wanted. Ooh. Ooh, two golds. Greya, the Dragonborn. Oh, this is the one that, uh, has, is, like, partnered with Anne. I don't know how good they are individually. Seems like something that might not be even worth running, but who knows. Elf of the Gemstones. Whenever another allied follower comes into play, give it a rush. Huh. I don't know if Forrest really cares that much about clearing your board like that much. I don't know how good that'll be. Golden Valhalla in general. Seems good. I'm a fan. And we got another emblem. Five more packs. Let's go for it. Let's move it, people. Okay. Not, not a very good pack, that one. Another? Yes! My third Goblin Slayer! It's Destiny. It's Destiny. A common mistake for beginners. I'm ready to build that Goblin Slayer deck that I've always wanted. Lots of dragons in that pack. I'm gonna be excited to look at those. Luxfang Kit. This guy... This guy needs to put on a shirt. If this card is discarded, summon a Luxfang kit. Oh, it's kind of like Silverware, Golem, and Hearthstone. It's interesting. Oh, that was a lot of noises. Hello. Selwyn's Command. Summon a Skystride Raptor, enhance 8, then put a Grand Archer Selwyn into your hand and change its cost to 0. Nice. 3 mana, 2 1 with Storm. That's. They're giving Forest Craft Haven Craft cards. <laughs> a bird with storm. White Wolf of Eldwood. 
randomly put one of the highest cost forest craft cards excluding this one from your deck into your hand at the start of your next turn change its cost to zero with rush too but for eight mana i don't know how worth it that is Luxhorn sarasa cannot receive more than three damage at a time so she can at least trade twice at the very least huh and has rush too make for good trades well that was good well, there you go. That was my Rise of Bahamut pack opening. Hopefully you enjoyed yourself. Like and subscribe if you did. And to stay on this channel to see me play some Bahamut, which I surely will. I know I've been, I haven't been playing Shadowverse that often recently because of the new Hearthstone expansion hype. But now that the new Shadowverse expansion is out, you should be able to expect some of that from me. So hopefully stick around. And come with me as I try and make some decks to traverse this shadowy world with you. Anyways, I'm just going to open this pack real quick. I got, a, I got a pack ticket for a regular pack. Just give me a second. It's a little bonus for you. After we're seeing me open 40 Bahamut packs. Whoopee. <laughs> Very underwhelming. That was anticlimactic. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.